What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to The Right Now Show. It's episode two, and we're still rocking and rolling with our topic, creativity. In this episode, we're gonna be asking this question. Does what you create bring people together or tear people apart? Expressing who we are is what creativity is all about. Expressing the image of God inside of us and how that takes place in such amazing, fascinating, and unique ways because you guys know we are all uniquely different. Last week, we witnessed everything from music. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like? My personal favorite, sports. I love the beach. Football and basketball. And something that I've never personally been very good at, skating. Tail whip, tail whips, tail whips, tail whips. We also got two videos that expressed how individual people are coming together. First, we had Ainsley talking with her dad, creating that space where they could grow in deeper understanding. And finally, we had Brandon, where he loved to make videos and create through his experience with acting and these different things because he wants to see people come together. So once again, the question for this episode number two is does what you create bring people together or tear people apart. Now y'all know I can't be talking about creativity with one another and not bring in ours truly. Miles, help us explain this a little bit. What is up Rim family? I miss doing worship with you guys. Um, one way that I have been um, expressing creativity while in quarantine is probably just helping out more, having a chance to like be around at home and help out with as many things as I can, whether that's, you know, helping my mom around the house, helping my dad outside. You know, not that I did those things already, but just having more exposure and being home more, it allows me to kind of be there more and be helpful more because when I'm not in quarantine, I'm always so busy, I'm always out doing stuff and being home, it really allows me to get closer to my family. And I guess in a creative sense, um, I've been able to get closer to my family and helping them in all kinds of different ways and that is one way I have been creative during this quarantine so nice dang miles that is awesome using your gifts and your talents and your skills to help out around the house with mom and dad that's a beautiful thing man and our sis Nina posted something on Instagram earlier this week and it totally captures what we're talking about grab a snack and check this out during this time, I've been doing a lot of cooking. Today, I made Veronica and Hulipsy with my dad. Veronica are little potato dumplings, and Hulipsy are cabbage rolls filled with meat and rice. I really loved doing, learning how to do this. It was a fun way to spend time with family and connect with my Ukrainian heritage. I encourage you guys to find something fun to cook and, you know, be creative during this time. Yeah. Those two videos remind me a lot of Jesus building on the truth we find in Genesis chapter one and two. Now we already know in Genesis we're made in the image of God, but then God gives us a job to rule, to reign, to subdue over everything that God just created, to manage it well, to take the world somewhere beautiful, the water, the mountain, the soil, the animals, the whole deal. Then Jesus takes it even deeper. In the book of John, Jesus is hanging out with his disciples and he breaks it down this way. He says, love one another. Just as I have loved you, you go and do the same. Greater love has no man than this, than for somebody to lay his life down for his friend. Let me break it down this way with two examples. First example, basketball. I love basketball, I always have. This is fun on an individual level. I can dribble the ball, I can shoot, I can hang out in the gym. But how does that end up bringing people together? This is how. What I wanted to do is on Saturday mornings, invite anybody, no matter what the skill level, male, female, hyper-talented, hyper-athletic, and even the inathletic. But that's what it was all about for me to be able to express that. So that's my first personal example. Just like Nina and so many others, I love to cook. 
These are some barbecue tongs right here. And just, I know I have my own favorite foods, but what really ends up being pretty epic is when I ask my family, when I ask my wife, when I get to cook for others, that begins to be a whole nother level. Because you're like me, I'm sure you get easily distracted. So for the next minute, I want you to stop what you're doing and check this out. When you read the Bible, I guarantee you will see that all human beings are a byproduct of joy, not of control and manipulation. God created us in his image and his image is love right here and right now. I hope we get to see that Jesus is inviting all of our creativity to result in bringing each other together in love. So you might be noticing a pattern here. Episode one started with you and me. This episode has been about us and we. And episode three is going to get even bigger. And here's how you can help. So this week's invitation is to send us a picture or a video talking about what you see as broken in our world that you want to help participate in seeing redeemed, restored, and fixed. So remember, you got to send it to me by this Tuesday night and it might make the show. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. May grace and peace be with you and in you right now. Mm -hmm.